Before we begin, let me start by saying, I know what y'all are thinking. If I was gonna make any Gene Kelly movie, why wasn't it his greatest? Xanadu. The stars of our movie today are an American in Paris and, oh my God, Jeb, look, it's my mama. Oh, hot mama. Play. Our story begins about a hundred fucking years ago, back when you didn't need talent to be famous. So nothing's really changed in a whole damn century. Basically what you got here is Don Lockwood and his hot hoochie mama co-star Lena Lamont, who just stands around looking like she's hot shit on a silver platter while Don does all the hard work. Then some backstory about how Don and his friend Cosmo Brown started dancing, and then they kept dancing. Here's me doing their dance. Whew, I'm tired as hell. So anyway, this back when you could be famous and nobody had to hear your dumb talk. So all you celebrities on the X, would you kindly shut the f up? Nobody wants to hear you farting out every stupid bubble of flatulence that floats across your damn peanut brain. See, Lena can't speak in public because if she did, they'd all know she sounds like Kim Kardashian on helium. And Kim Kardashian off helium is painful enough. Lena's like, what's the bullshit I It's like somebody stepped on a chipmunk's balls. So then Don gets attacked by some groupies and flees the scene by hijacking the vehicle of this unsuspecting lovely. Watch your Jeb, that's my mama. So he uses his celebrity status to assist him in getting his Mac on. And Kathy's like, I appreciate the offer, but I'm not much into the famous and talentless. And he's like, oh baby, you sassy ass, it turns me on. And then she kicks his ragged ass to the curb. <laughs> Later, there's a party where everybody get a glimpse into the future. Just stay where you are, it's hell out here. And Don finds out Kathy has herself a hoochie act. Yeah, be so nasty. And Don's like, you see, Lena, this little tart right here was being a little judgmental. Meanwhile, she makes her living being a vulgar hussy sl So Kathy's like, in the words of Sir Elton John, Except she hits Lena instead, who be like, Hold me back! Later, Don tells Cosmo that lately he ain't been seeing his little cake-tossing cupcake, so Cosmo does what any good friend would do. He starts dancing, and then he keeps dancing. It's something about how if you care about the quality of your art, you best be prepared to get by on ramen and cereal. And then, you know, some other normal shit about how he wants to do the nasty with a headless pillow. Later, Lena tells Don he ain't been seeing his little cake-tossing cupcake because... I was at Kathy's fault, because I knew Kathy Mojo Don Johnson wanted to do some horizontal rules too. There's some news about how the movie studio want to get with the times and make the silent movie a talkie and how this making Charlie Chaplin mad as f The only problem is Lena talked like somebody got her in a titty twister. And I'm looking at this and wondering, who the hell opened up Gene Kelly's sleeping brain and invited us into his shroom lace fever dream? And Kathy's like, I know how you've been doing the horizontal Rudy too with that high-pitched hoochie. And then Don like, girl, you need to get your nose out of the National Enquirer. I bet you also believe every celebrity with a ginormous bubble butt just be doing Pilates. Then the two people who always argue start to like each other. Ta -ta 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 -ta. And then they start singing, and then they start dancing, and then they stop singing, and then they keep dancing. I'm gonna dance along. <laughs> Whew, I'm tired as hell. Oh, Lord Jesus, here go Lena again, making everybody's ears bleed. Lena, just because you got that big wig don't mean you sound like Sir Elton John. Finally, it's showtime. Time to test run the Don and Lena talkie. And it stinks. Like that juice that settled in the bottom of your garbage can when you cheap by them bargain bags. Then they decide to make the Don and Lena sh show a musical. And then they start dancing. Except now that they dance their asses off, Don remembers that except for Lena's face, everything else she could do for the movie is just one big doo-doo. Acting, singing, speaking, and dancing. One woman, all doo-doo. And Kathy's like, plus she's kind of a tw then Cosmo suggests they can disguise Lena's doo-doo by pulling a Milli Vanilli. Then Don and Kathy get they smooch on. And he got a fever of 103. Because he did. Damn, last time I had a fever like that, I wasn't getting jiggy because my damn skin felt like it'd just been hit by fallout from the Manhattan Project and mama was putting my spindly ass on ice. Look, damn nosy popo ain't good for nothing but harassing happy people. So nothing's really changing the whole damn century. And then Lena lip syncs to Kathy's voice, which is actually Debbie Reynolds lip syncing to somebody else's voice. Then Gene do a big number where he dances his ass off and oh, hot mama. Jeb, stop being a creep. Which is totally irrelevant to the plot, so skip. I just wanted to look at Sid Charisse's gams. Then Lena finds out the voice to cover up all her doo-doo was actually the voice of that hoochie acting cake tossing cupcake that wakes up Don's Johnson. And Lena's like, how dare you smooch that hoochie? So she goes to the National Enquirer and tells them to print she's a simmering glowing star in the cinema firmament. 
and she demands that the studio cover up the fact that Kathy is kicking the litter over her big doo-doo. Now it's time to premiere the Don and Lena sh show, The Musical. And it doesn't stink. Now the audience want to hear Lena sing a little ditty. So she starts singing and doing her titty twisting. And right in the middle of the song, the record starts skipping. Girl, you know it's, girl, you know it's, girl, you know it's. Oh, Jesus, picking on Millie Vanilli. Too soon. And the crowd thinks it's just f***ing hilarious. And Kathy's all embarrassed and sh so she run off. And Don's like, halt, hoochie. And she does. Then they smooch. And then they make a movie called Singing in the Rain, which is the movie we just watched. I think. Watching a movie about the making of a movie that turns out to be the actual movie? What is this Inception Matrix mashup? Oh, it's so meta. What are you gonna tell me next? We can link Gene Kelly to Kevin Bacon? Oh my God, the end. Thank you to these muffins for all their muffin love. Amy E, Colby R, Chris O, Lilith, Pete H, TJ, Vicky Rara, Yogi, Bonnie, Chupacabra Fuel, Clever Lil Vixen, Colette L, Frau V, Hey Hey, Isabel, John E, Nora C, Star Kitten, Troy, Al Louisa, Alice L, IAS, Big Satchmo, Brian G, Charles L, Darian VH, David C, Dissy, Gabriella C, Kristen R, Lily's Hazel Eyes, Linda W, MC and Kent, Patricia H, and Rod S. For Movies Explained for, I'm Jeb. A dial. And that's all I got for today. Thank God, because my dogs are barking. I meant my feet, Daphne.